six easy digital marketing hacks for 2023 okay let's call it what it is Google pretty much owns the search market matter of fact they are responsible for 94% of the organic search and 96% of the smartphone search so you got to figure the competition's pretty stiff but there are certain hacks that you can do to break through and come up in the top results see Google doesn't really care if you're a small business or a big business all they care about is that you go along with the rules that they set in place and if you do that which I'm gonna cover in this video you're going to succeed and you're gonna get in those top results don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so so far don't forget to ring the bell turn all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time I go live or if I upload a new video and give me a thumbs up too to smash that thumbs up really appreciate it okay so let's think about this Google wants the best results for the users in other words the best user experience if you use all six of these that I'm gonna talk about in this video you will get results number one I know I was just talking about Google but I'm gonna tell you to optimize your email strategy optimize your email strategy why because if you're sending out emails and you get people to start clicking and going to your site more traffic is going to be going to your site and that's going to help your overall health of the site emails are very important but if you don't have a good email provider they're never going to see your emails they're going to end up in the junk email and nobody's ever going to see it so i'm going to suggest that you get Kartra right there okay you can get Kartra for a dollar or they may, they may even have a free offer right now click click below and there's a video you can watch and I'm telling you Kartra will automate a lot of this stuff for you it will save you so much time make sure you get Kartra it's below it's one of the best marketing softwares I know of period if there was a better one I would use it I am an affiliate of Kartra that's full disclosure but I tell you I'm my only affiliate because I really love it and I don't really talk about other companies products but this one here it's well worth it so automate your emails do better at your emails Kartra is going to help you let's go on to number two number two is use the ADA formula that is attention interest desire and action now this can be used in marketing let me put a little chart up on the screen so you can kind of see what I'm talking about okay the first thing is awareness or attention like I just said let people know that you have a potential solution to their problem so you got to get out there and they've got to see that maybe you have something they need okay that's the first step next one is interest you have to ensure that potential customers can access information about your company when they show interest it's got to be easy it's got to be emails phone numbers you know uh, chat whatever you have make sure that it's easy for them to get that information decision sell your product as the only real solution to their problems or being scarce so this is very very important that you separate yourself from all the other businesses that are out there the next one is action consumer decides to buy your product that's where we want to get to right but we got to do these other steps first now interesting enough this ada program or, or guide has been around for a long time since 1898 and yet it still works beautifully online number three embrace video marketing video marketing is the way to go nowadays 82 percent of the traffic now comes from videos and you don't have videos come on I know some of you are gonna say well I don't look good on camera and I don't like the way I sound on camera blah 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 get on camera and do it but if you don't want to you could use a screen share and maybe just voice over that or hire somebody to do it if you want but I tell you video marketing is the way to go that's what's gonna show up in search results is your videos now if you ask somebody you know when was the last time you read a book and then you ask when was the last time you watched a video I don't know what the answer to the first one is I don't know not too many people are reading books anymore but I can tell you this they probably watched a video that day if not several videos that day that's why it's so important and if you can't think of an idea how to use it maybe you could make an explainer video about your product you could show how your product work you could show other people using the product um, you could have an explainer of why it's better than everybody else's or how you came up with the idea all these things work really well use video I'm telling you this is the way to go number four come up with novel content and what do I mean by novel content take an idea that's already out there whatever that idea is maybe it's a survival food I own a survival food company it's right there you can see it um, and I were to do a video about why you want to have super high quality 
survival food right the best tasting survival food nobody's talking about that because most of it doesn't taste too good or i may want to conduct a survey of different brands of survival food and have people take a survey or i could have a contest where i'm going to be giving out survival food if they you know send a picture in or a short video i've done that before and it worked really well so i should probably do that again <laughs> we tend to quit doing things that work really well and keep looking for new things but I, I need to do that again that's a good reminder bottom line is do different types of content that's going to gain their attention number five understand the difference between marketing and branding a lot of people think these are the same thing but they are not branding would be your logo your website the message you're trying to get across to everybody who sees your company now our messaging is helping families prepare we've had that same messaging for over a decade now but if we're doing marketing that's an entirely different thing we may be talking about how our foods are packaged we may be talking about you know the process or everything's made in the usa and what the flavor is like and how it tastes like your grandma's pot roast the meat is so good that is marketing so understand the difference between these two and understand what you're trying to do with each piece of content number six make use of local service ads that's lsa now they started i think back in 2016 17 they work really well let me put an example up on the screen real quick here is one right here now what i did is i searched cleaners in boston uh and you see the local service ads there you know there's pure boston uh, made pro boston made pro arlington these are all local service ads now generally local service ads are for home service providers like electricians locksmiths painters you know plumbers housekeeping that type of thing but as time goes by you're going to see an increased reach in these things you're going to see more companies using these for different types of things uh, unlike google ads you don't have to pay for clicks but rather for leads that are relevant to your business so I, I teach people how to do digital marketing and i teach people how to make money online and you may say well that's not local you know that's nationwide that's worldwide jr i know but if they see a local business that is doing something like that they're going to be more likely to buy a course from me if you're in austin and you see my office is in austin or actually it's in round rock but that's pretty close then you're going to be more likely so local service ads could actually work for our company too i want you to think more broad i want you to think about all the things that are out there to you and, and I, I gotta i gotta ring the bell one more time on this this video thing guys you gotta do videos videos are so very important like I said, if you do them, you're going to get better at them. Your first videos may not be that good. And I understand that uh, on this channel, I have over 1300 videos. The first ones, they're not so good. Matter of fact, don't go back and look at the first ones, please. Whatever you do, do not look at the first ones. They're horrible, but they're there. And I don't take them down because well, they're there and it, it helps remind me of what I was doing when I first started out. So there's a lot you can do. And one other thing I'm going to add for a bonus is rethink SEO. SEO is so important guys. When was the last time you looked at your titles and descriptions on your pages? You know, if you built your website five years ago, it was probably five years ago. So that may need some tweaking, get in there and make some changes to your SEO. Doing this can have a profound effect. Uh, especially if you're starting to do things like you're adding more images you're adding videos did you seo your videos so many people don't seo their videos and i don't know why not i see a lot of people putting videos on youtube and they don't put you know the title tags in there and they don't put all the keywords in there they don't put descriptions and that hurts you so much guys you need to go back and do that that's so very important it would be better to do two videos that were highly seo'd on youtube than to do 10 of them and you didn't do any seo and here's why think about it guys when people go onto youtube they type in words and those words make videos come up because those videos have been tagged if you don't tag your videos with those relevant words those search terms how in the world is anybody going to ever see your video you could do the best video in the world but nobody's going to see it because you didn't seo it so i want you to really rethink that i hope you enjoyed this video please if you have any questions you have any comments please put them below i love getting questions i love getting comments i love hearing from you guys uh, even if you just want to say hi that's fine too but you may have some questions have you tried some of these things what which one out of the six that i just gave you have you tried and what results did you get put it in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there turn it from red to gray and don't forget what's the big thing the bell the bell don't forget to ring the bell 
turn all bell notifications so you're notified each and every time i go live or if i upload a new video thank you so much guys you make this channel great i appreciate having you here i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel